Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. It's 11.03 a.m. On Sunday morning, I'm getting ready to make some chicken pot pie. Then I'm going to crochet my hair. I already put some braids. I'm hoping I can cover up the silver with the crochet hair. Because I have to add some magic touches to cover it up. Okay, I'll show you what I'm going to use. I'll start with half of a rotisserie chicken. I already took the skin and the bones out. It's in here. I cooked some potatoes because I like potatoes in my chicken pie pie. That's how it looks. I'm using frozen vegetables. I have the mixed vegetables with the carrots, corn, and green peas. And I'm add a little extra corn because we like corn a lot. I'm making a top and bottom crust. So I'm using the same pie crust that I use for my fruit cobblers. Okay. I'm using cream of chicken soup to thicken it up because I don't want no runny chicken pot pie. Else I might as well just make a pot of soup. I'm using some jollof rice seasoning. Not too much because this chicken soup is salty. I'm using my garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt. And I'm using just pepper. And I'll be using this pan. I hope it fits. I always double my pants. And I'll be using my Kasori air fryer oven. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start by making the bottom crust, putting it in this pan and browning it. Let me uh, preheat this. It don't bake. 350 is good. Of course, it's not going to take that long to brown the bottom crust. It's still kind of frozen. There ain't nothing special. Take it out. Put it in there. The fork. Break some so I can put some crust in the corners. Okay, that's good. It's gonna be covered up so it don't have to look pretty. Quicken the crust because it has a tendency to rise up. I don't want it rising up. Now you're gonna be trying to connect the crust, the top crust with the bottom crust. No. We're gonna season this crust. Okay. 
That's good. You have to watch it. Take about maybe five minutes. I'm turn it on. Okay, so I'm gonna set this other crust aside. Everything. Put the corn in here. Like I said, I got the chicken in here and potatoes. People don't usually put potatoes in their chicken pot pie, but that's what we need and want to like. So that's why I'm doing. We like corn too. Now he don't like peas or carrots. Usually when I make these pies, I, I make individual pies. I got some little pie tins. That way he can't get the crust. Hey, the man is crazy about crust. He can't lift the crust. I need the peas and the carrots and all that. He has to eat what I give him. fit in that pan. I hope so. Okay. I'm gonna add too much of this because this has salt in it and the soup is salty. This is the jollof rice seasoning. It adds a good flavor. I bought this from Amazon. Using the garlic, black pepper. That's good. Pepper. Where's your mama? You gotta come out this this way. Getting on my nerves because it's gonna come out good. Get some Italian seasoning because these flavors are good. You put the chicken soup. Keep on hand all the time. Cream of chicken soup. Okay. Oh, the reason I put this bottom crust in the uh, oven is so when I put these wet ingredients on top of it, it's not going to make the crust soggy. I didn't used to do that. I used to wonder why am I crust so gooey at the bottom? I said, duh. Okay. Stir all this up. If it don't fit, if it don't all fit in the pan, then we'll have chicken soup another day so this is the dark meat chicken because somebody ate the white meat or the rotisserie chicken I don't eat the thigh uh -uh. I like the breast and the wing and I do eat legs but not the thigh this is me just saying what I don't eat Growing up, we used to eat chicken necks, turkey necks, all that stuff. Neck bones. Okay, and these were frozen vegetables, but they'll cook. 
I'm gonna stick it in the oven to brown the top crust. Let's make sure everything's distributed. That's how it looks. Look at this. It's been five minutes. A couple more minutes. Everything in here is done except the vegetables has have to uh, thaw out. So chicken is done, potatoes are done, and the vegetables are frozen. So this looks like a lot to go in that pan. Some candy? You got a sucker. I can stand up in here a couple more minutes. You know what? This needs a little oomph. in front of the camera. It can't be helped right now. I'm gonna put some of this in it. The Noah bouillon, chicken bouillon powder. Just a touch. I definitely don't want to make this too salty. What's this? I'm putting a half a teaspoon. This little thing is a teaspoon, so I'm putting a half a teaspoon. Sunshine seasoning. There's no salt in it. It livens up your food. Go ahead and show it to you. Sunshine seasoning. I like it because you can add it freely in anything. It has a good flavor. Just don't have no salt. That's what people are used to. Salt. Okay, this is nice and thick because this is going to loosen up as it cooks but as long as it stays thick. I don't have any cornstarch to put in here. I can't find it. Okay. I want it to stay nice and thick. It's not going to stay like that. Let me take this out of here. This vegetables back in the freezer. Just out my way. I need some more dish towels. I like pretty new dish towels. Just because. Okay. It didn't brown, but it did get, it's hot. It did get crispy, so it don't, it won't be ooey and doughy when I put the wet ingredients. Okay, let me pile this in here. Let's see. I think that I want to brush egg yolk on top of the crust or do I want to put some butter? You know what? Since this is a savory dish, I'm going to spray it with what, is, what I got in that sprayer. 
I think I got avocado oil. Let's spray the top with some avocado oil. That'll work. This will fit. Yeah, I got to get me another rubber spatula. I like this one. I got another one in the drawer, but I like this one the best. It's getting raggedy. Spread this out. This will be Sunday dinner, y'all. It's a piece of dough. Let's put it in here. There will have to be no rhyme or reason. Do I want to cut it? Make it look better. Yes, I could. So I'm just gonna put this round crust. Let me see. That's what I'm gonna do. Put it in here. I ain't trying to make no uh, top and bottom crust fit. Now if it was round, I would do it. But this is rectangle. Okay, this is good. It's working. I'm trying to get crust on every piece. Like a puzzle. Save these. I'm gonna cut slits in the crust. Oh, this is avocado oil in here. I ain't never seen nobody do this before. butter on it so why not what's handy this is handy okay help it brown I don't want to waste uh, an egg just to put uh, brush egg yolk on here don't waste the whole egg I ain't about that life okay I'm gonna season the top a little bit Seasoning. 
First time I made this on camera, it was five years ago. People were complaining about me using too much seasoning. I didn't even uh, re reply to her comment or his comment, whoever it was. Who eating this? So I forgot. Just gotta cut. Let the steam out. Cutting the crust. Okay. Now I can go in there. I'll show y'all. Is this still hot? Nope. This is how it looks. Going in there. Chicken pot pie. The easy way. So I'm leaving it at 350. It's gonna take about maybe 20 minutes. So where's the minutes? The time. Okay, minutes. I don't want the temperature. I want the I'm going to turn it off and time it down. No. Oh. Duh. I'll say 20 minutes. Okay. Start. Start. Okay, I'll be back, y'all. And once again, this is my Kasori air fryer oven. I've had this for quite a while. And I very rarely use my stove oven. This does it all. It also has a, a thing where you can make rotisserie chicken, but I don't fool with that because it gets too messy inside. And I'm the one who got to clean it up. And I ain't about that life either. Okay. I will be back. Okay, I just turned this up to 400. I want the top to brown. The other part is bubbling. Yeah. A couple more minutes, it'll be done. It smells so good. Okay, y'all, here's my chicken pot pie. It took 40 minutes. And it's just a little bit brown, but I decided to take it out. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little bit because I'm not ready to eat it until 12.30. And it was bubbling. So let me put this on a tripod. Okay, I'm going to cut into it, y'all. This is how it looks. Hear that crust? Oh my goodness. Get all my crust from around the sides. Mmm, it smells good. I'm going to show you how it looks, how it's held together. Just a minute. That's how it looks. Focus. I'm going to cut it. It's thick. It's not soupy. The crust, bottom crust. It's not gooey. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do a taste test. 
Okay. Mm -mm. I said I wasn't ready to eat. This is so, so good. Yeah, it's comfort food. Oh my goodness. Quick and easy. It's so good. Mmm. is delicious and I ain't just saying it cause I made it this is delicious y'all for real for real oh my goodness so I want to thank you all for watching give me a thumbs up leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel and you all have a very blessed rest of the day it's 12 42 p.m. This is a winner. This is a winner. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Bon appetit. Bye.